And to persuade your husband, Mrs. Wren. Unlike the other folk in Bradley Bottom, you can afford to move away. He may have been healthy enough here in his father's day, but now, with poor dwellings creeping up on you and more factories hugging the canal, what chance has a man with tuberculosis? Why cling to your home if it means breathing soot? Breathing the stench of overflowing drains? Breathing the infection your poor neighbors carry about with them? They can't help it. Poverty, stale air, more children than they can properly care for, and a weary struggle to keep clean, even if they have the wit and energy to try. Every day, someone in Bradley Bottom dies of his living conditions. Why let your man be another victim if the change of address can save him? I saw ya, Matt, picking and nibbling. That loaf's supper for nine of us, and don't you forget it. Who wants one looking as if mice have been at it? It's Melanie. It makes me feel dizzy with hunger. Leaders not into temptation was pre Bible specially for you, Matt Ferris. Oh, evil. What's a bit of cross? Here. Do you want some? Aye. Mam's too poorly to notice. Come on. Our old temptation will see you back at this loaf before he reaches home. We'll be struck dead, I dare say. to lose your dignity over one dirty, adulterated loaf. It's not fit to eat now, anyway. Oh, run back to the baker's and get another one. You move an inch if you dare. Here. Too much, sir. I only threaten to leave five inch. Well, if you work at it, I have no doubt you'll find a use for the rest. Hmm? Yes. You may as well keep that now. But wash it before you eat it. Otherwise, you'll have stomach pains far worse than any punishment the law could give you. I'll be off with you. <laughs> How's the leg, Annie? Troublesome on wet days. I just fancy, eh? Both doctors at the free hospital said you'd never walk again, eh? They was wrong, and you was right. I know a brave girl when I see one. I hated you. It didn't half hurt at first. <laughs> and how is the iron now, eh? I've not grown much. Annie, how would you like to come and live on the other side of the hill? In service, at my house? I I'll work you to a standstill, of course, but you will have your own room. And plenty to eat. And 22 shillings a month. <laughs> what, me? Yeah. I'm not up to housemaidings. Step girl, that's me. I get tums an hour whitening steps. Oh, you idle little baggage. Don't you want to learn anything new? Hmm? Steps are all right to begin with. There's a whole different world inside the house. Why shut yourself out? Hmm? I'll have to ask ma'am. All right. How is she, by the way? Child bearing again. This one's a long time coming. She started her pains yesterday. Why aren't you at home looking after her? Our room's packed with women. Old women, most of them, swilling our tea and putting vinegar on her forehead. She doesn't need me. Oh, come on, girl. She probably needs me. Engaging of domestic servants is my responsibility, William. But you are not attending to it, my love. What is this poor creature's name? Annie. Annie Ferrers. <gasps> not the Ferrers of Bradley Bottom. She'll do very well with training. She's a stayer. She'll be loyal. Oh, don't. She has a drunken father, a feckless mother, and six brothers and sisters. Seven. 
Although the last one won't live. Who used the most dreadful language. Give her a chance, Emma, my love. Bradley Bottomers are much happier with factory work. Well, so are our other housemates. Look how many we lost to the power loom weaving and... And you expect this one to fit in with our ways? 98. It's as straight as a yard of pump water. 99. Mind your P's and Q's and eat your dessert nicely. 100. And do yourselves credit. Credit. Um, and walk down, down the stairs, stairs as if you were dressed in China. May I have the fruit, please, Edmund? I hear you attempted to mend your frock, Sarah. I'm pleased when you help Nanny. She has extra duties to perform just now. Oh, grape scissors, Edmund, dear. I want you to make special mention of Dora in your prayers this evening. She and Captain Selwyn are expecting a happy event. When, Mama? Soon, in God's good time. You don't seem very surprised. Is it too soon to pray for the baby? Uh, there's to be another newcomer amongst us. A housemaid called Annie. He's not much class, but plenty of courage. I hope you will follow your mother's example and help her to feel at home. Yes. You must be kind and show patience with her mistakes. She hasn't had the advantage of a fine home like this. Well, hers is a stuffy, poorly furnished little hovel. I delivered a sickly baby brother for Annie there late this afternoon. With another mouth for them to feed. There's no room for him. So if you wish to pray for a baby, Sarah, pray for that one. Doctor, doctor, it is this oh. time. Miss Dora. Oh. Oh, cab's outside. Oh, do look sharp, yes, doctor. Yes, 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 yes. Come on. 